Hey everybody, Rosemater here. Welcome to part three of To the Moon. In the last episode, we went quite a bit further back into Johnny's memories, learned a little bit more about him and especially about River, including why she behaves the way she does. But the big question we still don't know other than why Johnny wants to go to the moon is why River is so obsessed with the rabbits. That is, that's my big thing I want to know. Like what where is that coming from? So maybe we'll learn that in this episode. We're going to get into it and continue on with this amazing story. So let's go. All right. So here we were after their first date. Uh, so I'm assuming they're teenagers at this point. We're just about to jump back further into their memories here. So yeah, we went quite a bit further back. You know, we went from like when he was still pretty old to like now they're teenagers again, so. And still this whole thing about the platypus. This platypus that's been with her from, you know, maybe even when she was a child until she was, you know, she passed away. I think she had that thing with her the whole time. Okay, I'm definitely not going to be getting it in the number of expected moves, as it were. Oh boy. You know, I think this platypus is growing on me. Mostly just for convenience, but hey. Come on, dude, grow some balls. Uh... It's not that. Look, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Oh, sheesh, what could possibly happen? Just think about it. Worst case scenario, she says no. You strut on like nothing happened. No one will know and everyone will still think you're cool. But what if she tells someone? Or yells at me? Don't be a little wuss. <laughs> or, or says yes, but really means no. Quit worrying. Who would do that? And what if she throws an encyclopedia in my face? I don't even have a helmet. Dear Lord, I'm so not prepared for this. Dude, don't panic. Just straighten your spine and quit being a little wuss. <laughs> yeah, you tell him. <laughs> Everything will be alright. Just turn around. Okay. Okay. Hey, what do you... Shh. Uh, ahem. Hello. Uh, hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Then why didn't you... Never mind. Um, that's a cool platypus you got there. What are you reading? A book. About platypus? No. Oh, I... I think that's great. <laughs> I just love Neil just like face bombing. Lighthouses. Oh, so she was obsessed with lighthouses from a young age. Huh? There are exactly 16 second order Fresno lens lighthouses in the country left. Nine of them are coastal and one of them was modified from a historic keros uh, kerosene lamp lighthouse. Oh, is that what you're reading about? Um, say, you want to go catch a movie together sometime? I don't know. That's okay. I'll give you time to consider it. I can't. Why? There's no date or time. Oh, um, how about this Saturday at 8? Hmm. 
Well... I gotta say, good on Johnny for still going through with the date. Eva, I think the system fro- Yes. Oh, great. Never mind. I guess we'll work out the details later. Um, I'll just... Oh, and that's why he wasn't sure if she was actually there, because... <laughs> He's, he said Saturday at 8, so she showed up, but she never actually told him she showed up and seemed like she wasn't that enthusiastic about it. What? What are you looking at me for? You think I'm going to call out how utterly awkward that was? Well, just forget it. I'm not giving in to your expectations. Give him a break. He was still just a kid. You, of all people, should relate. What's that supposed to mean? Shut up and go. Shut up isn't my name, you know. Well, I suppose if you look at it from the right angle... No, not really. Never mind. Okay, I guess I can't do anything with her. What the heck were you doing in there, dude? What? I asked her out. No, that was pathetic. If I were you, I would have just barged in there and been all like, Hey, you, go out, me, you, now. That's just terrible. I know, and it would have still been better than what you just did. So did she throw an encyclopedia in your face? Huh? Did she? Shut up, dude. See, I'm not the only one who tells people to shut up. And suddenly I feel loved. Ah, I still think they like each other. Dear lord, I can't believe you got me to take this stupid class. Oh, come on, it's fun. Only if you can paint. You'll get good if you practice, you know. Yeah, right. After this class, I'm never picking up a brush again. Uh, anything else for me to explore here? I'm trying to think, did Johnny end up ever, like, was there any evidence of him ever painting again after this? I feel like that's got to be a reference to something. I mean, he definitely took up the piano. That was more his kind of thing. Anyone? Anyone at all? All right, then. River, why don't you answer it? I know you know the answer. We're waiting, River. Fine, I guess we'll have to. He made sail on August 3rd of uh, 1492 from the Spanish city of Palos de la Frontera, which was founded in 1322 and granted to Oliver Perez by the Gosman who was at the mere age of 14 by the... Okay, okay, I only asked for the date. Let's see, was that so hard? Oh, man, just... You think about how hard that's got to be, especially if, you know, she's undiagnosed and it's just like people just assume she's weird. And it's like, you know, they don't understand. Good lord, does everyone with her condition have near photographic memory? Not really, though I think their rote, uh, rote memory is often fairly strong. I've got a, quite a bit to explore in this one here. She's coming this way. Alt-tab! Alt-tab! <laughs> Receive note. Alt-tab. Okay, what was he looking at? <laughs> Lifesaver. Alright, so let's go back. Nope, I guess we're not gonna see her come in. Oh, no, that's... Okay, that was the teacher they were talking about. I figured maybe it was River. Locked. Cafeteria only open during lunch hours. Alright, so we've been here. So we'll go this way. Hopefully I haven't missed anything. That's a wrap. You chumps better be uh, better next time. An atrium? We could use this place later. I just can't believe that these court lines are rectangles in his head.
Hug. Fine, you win. Booyah! And once again, the whole thing of like, so they were kids, they had, they definitely had computers in high school, so I'm assuming this would have take place during, I don't know, maybe the early 2000s? I'm trying to think when I was in high school, you know, we had computer classes, but how long back did computer classes were those like a standard thing in, you know, in the schools? Yeah, she's unique, but she's uniquely boring. I mean, just look at her. She just sits there by herself all day with that creepy deformed duck toy. That's not a deformed duck, that's a platypus. What the heck's a platypus? Quit making words up. Anyway, she's just so off, you know? It's like she's from a totally different planet or something. I know, isn't that cool? Uh, if you're into aliens and that sort of stuff, I guess. But really, if you want to be weird, why don't you just go hang out with the emos and goss? Okay, emos and goss. This is definitely taking place in the, <laughs> in the mid-2000s. Well, for one, I don't want to ruin my hair. The fact that we got a name for them says a lot, too. Look, Nick... I just... I just don't want to be another typical kid in a sea of typical people. But how the heck would being with her change your own identity? I mean, you'd just be some guy who hangs out with a shy girl. She's not just shy, Nick. There's something strange about her. Being strange isn't always a good thing, you know. Do you even know she wants to be different? Maybe she just wants to fit in like everyone else. And if she does, pushing her the other way wouldn't help, would it? Look, Nick, the point is that I know what I need. And she's the one who has it. Oh, no, that's... That's what he was talking about when he said that their first meeting was tainted. He just wanted to be with her because he wanted to be different. He wanted something from her. It wasn't that he really liked her. It was just he wanted to be unique. He wanted to be a unique little snowflake. So he wanted to hang out with someone who was quote-unquote weird. Because people would talk about him, I guess? So you want her for what she has, but not for her. That's cold, man. Man, even Nicholas, who is like, you know, he's going about, oh, she's off, she's weird. Even he seems to have more sense in it. It's like he understands that that's kind of effed up. I just hope you know what you're doing. I do. I think you're wrong, though. People aren't that typical. Everyone's unique in some way. That's just what grandmas tell you. Wait, so this guy's some kind of a human-hogging hipster? That's exact- he wanted to be a hipster, he wants to be different. That's sorta, of, uh, disturbing. You know, sometimes I want to slap our clients upside the head. It's high school. Everyone's a bastard. But hey, welcome to the club. Wait, so this is what he told her- Yes! Yes, I was right! This is what he told her about at the cliff. I mean, obviously he saw something in her after that first date. So, I mean, he kind of redeemed- Kind of, he did redeem himself and he wanted to do good by her. I suppose so. She then went cuckoo and began to make those creepy rabbits, right? Because he confessed that from, uh, because he confessed this from who knows how long ago. I guess she's pretty good at holding a grudge. No, there's more to it than that. It's gotta be. I'm not buying it. Something feels missing. Then go get a hat, Sherlock. Come on, I think our passport's leaning against the table there. I'm envious that this kid was still there to help him move pianos when their hair grew white. I wish I was still in contact with my childhood friends. Reasons and intents aside, it's pretty remarkable that they actually met in high school. How many of those go on for more than a month nowadays, huh? I don't know about you, but mine went pretty swimmingly. Yeah? 
So swimmingly, it swam right out the window. Sounds about right. I just love how every time we see this thing, we're guaranteed a free memory link. It must have left as big of a scar on his mind as it did on mine. Alright, there we go. Should I even... <laughs> No need, I'm all good now. Oh yeah, he hasn't done that in a while. He hasn't done like a Hulk smash or ha Hadouken. Kind of miss those. <laughs> Kame. <laughs> oh, for walnut's sake. Kame. Hey. Not cool, Eva. You never effing block someone in the middle of a Kamehameha. What? Oh boy, okay. Oh no, they're getting worse. I'm getting worse at this. I should be getting better the more I do these, but... Wow. <laughs> this is terrible. Alright, so now we're actually learning a little more about Johnny himself. A lot of it has been based on River, which makes sense because she's a big part of his life, but like, we gotta know a little more about, Ri uh, about Johnny and, you know, what his whole deal is. I'm going to school now, Ma. Have a nice day, Joey. Oh, and there's that Joey thing, too. My baby boy, growing up so fast. Ah, what if he was a girl? Would she still nickname after his grandpa? It wouldn't be that bad, actually, since it ends in E. Joe E. Jewy. Julie. Sounds cute. That sounds so cute. Why don't you marry him? Ah, jealous. Oh, yes. So jealous. Oh, bleh. Not again. Oh, pickle cucumbers? Holy crap, my mind's totally blown. You're pretty easily impressed. I'm gonna say, there's gotta be a reason behind this whole Joey thing that's not just the grandpa thing, because it seems to... I don't know, seems to be something they keep coming back to. So, okay, let's check out over here. Nope. Oh. Uh, okay, I'm still missing a few here. Oh. Well, to be fair, a ticking clock is pretty annoying indeed. Various books with smudge titles. Alright, there we go. We actually have something new here, something that's not a platypus or a rabbit. The same things we've been seeing over and over again. I guess because it no longer relates to River, it's something different.
Ugh, it smells like roadkill again. Where are we? Eva? What the hell is that? What? 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 Okay, so it looks like they won't be able to get to the next memory? That's his next memory. Yeah, but why is it going Laputa on us? Okay, I've been pretty good about getting the references so far in this game. I don't know what that one is. I don't know. It's just not linking the memories together for construction. There must be a malfunction within the machine's ADG. Again? I thought the last fix was foolproof for another half a year. I can't believe those idiots in the maintenance department. Look, don't worry. We've already gotten the teenage years saved. We might still be able to do this. Alright, but I ain't telling him about this. As long as we succeed, he doesn't have to know. Well, I guess this is it. There's nothing we can do here. Ready to finalize before activation? Ladies first. What a shame. I was actually looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. Me too. Maybe we'll have to go around his house and try and find more clues to see if we can, you know, make a connection there. Act 2. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Don't disturb them. They might not wake easily, but they need the concentration. And that's all this old fool knows. Sorry I can't be of more help. Then that'll have to be enough. Hey, all that's left to do is linking your registered desire to go to the moon to your early memories. Then we'll pull the switch and voila! You'll be on the moon in no time. I have a question. If you could make Lily disappear, that means you can alter this world. Then, can you not just simply make things happen and fulfill my wish here and now? That would work if this were your one true set of memories. What do you mean? What is this, then? What am I? This is just a copy, a canvas for us to work with, if you will. As for you, you are merely an algorithm traced from Johnny. Enough to reflect his likeness, but far from complete. All we can do is prepare this canvas in a logically consistent way. And then, when we transfer your registered desire to your childhood, the machine will generate your new life, one where the desire dictates your behavior. The result of that would then be written to the real John. So you see, even if we satisfy you, you are merely a read-only program. I mean, we could reset you over and over again, and that's enough. Oh, don't be so sensitive. He's not real, you know. If you truly believe that, why did you even care to explain? I'm just trying to save time. Let's go. Doctor. Is that what I truly am?
Ah, all of our night's work. And then there's the missing memory at the... We're gonna figure that out. Oh, whoa. Hi, Neil. What the? It's turned into like a tadpole. At least give me a warning first. What can I say? I like being ahead. Ha ha ha. I'd ask if that's a pun, but I'm afraid you'd say yes. Let's do this fast. I feel silly enough in this form as it is. All we need to do is pass this desire from the latest memory to the earliest. Okie dokie. Alright, line up two matching mementos on the edges to transfer the registered desire. Okay, so we've got... okay, the flowers. There we go. And then here it would be the rabbit. And, uh, the book. Hey, Eva, check this out. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> okay, and then the clock. Right? Ding! That's about all the ones we can work with. Ready to pull the switch? You know me. Always ready. Alright, let's go check on what souvenirs he brought back from the moon. Ladies first? Not this time, hun. <laughs> Ah, I want it so bad to see it. Too bad we got a straggler here. No loss. We can do this without him. I know, but it feels incomplete. You get too attached. It's going to impede your abilities to do your job. That's rubbish. Don't pin your womanly ways on me. Come on, Eva. I have a little bit of curiosity to you. I understand where she's coming from, but I would definitely be the Neil of this group. Probably making stupid jokes and also being like, Well, I want to I wanna know more about these people. Even if it takes... Longer to do the job. Oh, uh, am I supposed to click on... I guess I'm supposed to click on the last Johnny. This is the same setting as his real, la uh, as his real last accessible memory. Usually, there's at least some change. Something isn't right. These memories, they feel more than just having happened again. They are exactly the same. That's impossible. The desire was transferred, was it not? It was. Okay. Johnny? What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. Deja vu again. My name is Dr. Eva Rosaline, and this is... What? I'm not saying it twice. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Freeze him, too. Well? 
wait here. I'll go send the desire signal again. I'm thinking we're going to have to go in those early memories. See if there are any changes. It transferred successfully, for sure. Any changes? Not even a hair. How could this be? Even if his desire doesn't work alone, why is there no change at all? Perhaps, perhaps it just needs some provoking to activate. From his early memories? The earliest we can get to. Let's go. Johnny's desire to go to the moon might need some stimulation to be brought up, huh? Well then... What the? This wasn't what they said was playing. Oh well. Do you mind, River? No, I like this one. Alright, let's go then. Hopefully, that's enough for an ignition. Wait, where's Neil? <laughs> Probably getting up to trouble. Oh, where am I going? Wrong way. Did you see to the moon? How was it? Eh, it has a bit too much pretense for me. I prefer my movies to be a bit more... Oh, je ne sais quoi. Okay, Neil. Neil, where are you? Is he maybe is he inside the theater? Oh, probably. To the moon, darling. Ooh, Henry. Dear Lord, I am way too tired and hungry to be constructing movies. Guess I should go see if anything's changed with John. Sorry for making you sit through this, buddy. It's all the same. I'll have to try igniting it somewhere else then. This is ridiculous. L Lily? Perhaps something here could work. I don't have time for her right now. I was like, maybe she could be reading a book about the moon instead of lighthouses. So did she throw an encyclopedia in your face? Huh? Did she? Shut up, dude. What are you guys doing here? It's starting. Let's go get a good spot. Wait. I don't remember that happening. Something must have changed. Hey, don't squeeze. Wait a minute. This isn't a real change. This is... <laughs> May I have your attention, please? Oh, boy. <laughs> As you know, I am a representative sent from NASA in all its glory. And I'm here to tell you all about it. Hit it, Timmy! Wow, that was terrible! <laughs> but I digress. <laughs> Anyways, I know that many of you are wondering... What chances do I have of doing something as awesome as adventuring in another realm? To inhale the sweetness of Venus, to swim counterclockwise through the rings of Saturn. Or, perhaps, just chillin' at the backside of the moon? Well, here at NASA, we believe that with enough will, everyone has the potential. It could be you. Or you. Or, perhaps, you. 
But I don't want to go to the moon. Then you're in luck. Wait, what? Why not? Why should I? I'm happy here on Earth as it is. Well, don't you want to go even a little bit? No, why? Not even a tiny bit? Um, uh, no? <laughs> well, as an official NASA recruiter, I shall go over some facts about the moon. To start off, the moon is 4.5 billion years old. And did you know that its surface is as big as Africa? It's true. In fact, if you try to bike around the moon... Also, it takes 1.524 seconds for light to travel to the moon from here. And if you drive a flying car, it takes 130 days. I knew that. I don't know which one is worse, <laughs> Eva's attempt or Neil's attempt. And last but not least, people who go to the moon get rich and famous. And we all know that rich plus famous equals groupies. So, that concludes my presentation. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you, especially if you're a brunette. Well, what do you think? NASA probably wouldn't hire you, but I suppose it was blatant enough for this. Hmm, I do try pretty hard. Are you going to go see if that worked? Of course, be right back. Back. <laughs> Report. Utter failure. <laughs> Deuce. Hey, don't get, uh, don't get discouraged. I'm sure there are still things to be done. Such as? We've got we've to get that memory. Well, it must have happened when he was like very, very, very young. Something obviously happened with that memory that made him want to go to the moon. And he needs to remember it. We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay for her treat. But can you afford the lunar trip lottery? If you sell this house, you sure can. Just cutting in on these, like, really emotional moments. Is the diagnosis certain? Yes. In fact, we rarely have anyone... Did you know NASA has excellent healthcare plans? It's true, for both you and your spouse. <laughs> Free pony rides in space! <laughs> Oh look, a wedding! Good for you! But here's a riddle. Guess where you should go for the honeymoon? You know it's bad when she's resorting to puns. River? <laughs> Dag nabbit. Glass. Slippery. Johnny, jo John. What the cucumber? <laughs> Who? You know what? This just isn't working. It's more than just not working. It's ridiculous. We're freaking professionals. I didn't sign up for the job to run around yelling at him like an idiot. You didn't? Look, maybe this lack of sleep's getting to us. Had I known we'd be an all-nighter, I would have brought coffee. I agree. You should have seen the movie I constructed earlier. What movie? Exactly. Anyway, as valuable as time is here, this just isn't going anywhere like this. Let's take a break till morning. Hopefully Johnny can hang on till then. I do have some calls to make. Alright, so we're going back to the house, so maybe it's like I said, maybe we do have to go around the house, and maybe there's still those locked things in the basement. Maybe there's a clue there. doesn't make sense. Why did the machine have no effect? 
Johnny's registered wish was to go to the moon was successfully transferred, yet there wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go to the moon after the transfer. Unless, unless a secondary condition for the desire was changed in the process. Only then would the same desire produce two different outcomes at two different points in time. Obviously, the desire, all these flashbacks to River, maybe it has something to do with River. River must have had something to do with it. There's no denying River played an important role through it all. If there's anything that could have caused the core to change, she would be the top suspect. But out of all things, what exactly caused it? River. Just what exactly did you do? The sun's rising. We don't have much time left. I wonder if Neil came up with anything. Who knows, maybe Neil will pull something out of his butt and he'll be the hero. He seems like a goofball, but he's probably gonna save this whole thing. Like I said, maybe he found something in the house. Ugh, you can smell that squirrel Neil ran over all the way from here now. I want to check the basement. Like I said, there are still those lock things in the basement. Maybe it has something to do with that. Okay, so there was this thing. Chest is locked. Like I said maybe I have. Maybe I've got to ask the kids and see if they uh, know where the the keys are for it. And that chest is also locked. All right. So our goal right now is to find Neil. So let's do that. Uh, where would he be? Check the kitchen. That's where I found him the last time. Yep, there he is. No, I understand that part, but... Okay, did you confirm it in his records? And why again was this information not made available to us? Or the medical doctor, for that matter. Where did you get that coffee? Shh. Are you speaking with headquarters? Yes, I'll fill you in after. Now shh. Wait, isn't this... Where did you find it? In the lighthouse, before we started. Now, for the last time, shh. Alright, I guess that's my cue to leave. Yeah, let's go check up on Johnny. How's John doing? Barely hanging on. What are you two doing? We just... We just couldn't make any progress. He better be soon. We don't have long. If you're looking for your colleague, I think he's in the kitchen. Well, I already found him, so... Uh, I guess there's nothing else for me to do right now. Alright, well, let's check out the library. Oh! But Ma... I don't want to go to school. It's Sunday, dear. Let them sleep. <laughs> I'm immediately going to turn on the lights. Hey, wake up. <laughs> turn it off, you giant doofus. Yeah, you owe me a beach ball. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, what? Oh, there's just... There's got to be something here. Oh, can I talk to Lily? She might have some information about John. I know she said she didn't know much about him, but... I really should have watched those two last night. They were up late. Well, it's not an everyday circumstance. I suppose. 
Oh, was there something you wanted to ask? Oh, here we go. You know, it's pretty unusual for someone like you to work here. With two children and all, I mean. It's not that bad, really. There's a school bus that passes through here. But how did you even end up here? Well, a few years ago, my husband passed away. What happened? He was in the army. They were the last batch to be deployed overseas. Sorry to hear. I panicked. Our savings were low and the job market was grim. Johnny saw my ad and offered me this job. I accepted with gratitude. This place was peaceful, too. It helped me with my grieving. Doesn't the government issue grants to war widows to help get them back on their feet? They do, and eventually I received aid. But by then, Johnny was starting to have trouble on his own. He needed my help. Tommy and Sarah liked this place, too, and so we stayed. As for Johnny, he was glad as well. We're going to miss him. I think deep down he really wanted a family. Yeah, I guess they never had kids, did they? So what are you going to tell about uh what are you going to tell them about John? I I don't know. I'll probably make something up, but it's no use. Kids are smart nowadays. They'll figure it out. Might as well. It's the nature of life. There's nothing to hide. This is your full-time job, isn't it? What will you do when this is over? What else is there to do? Find a job in the city and live on, I suppose. It's a shame, though. I'm going to miss Johnny in this place. I bet you. Because, like I said, doesn't have any kids. River's gone. I bet you he's going to give them this place. Maybe I'll come back to visit every once in a while. Oh, was there something you wanted to ask? No, I just said no more questions. Okay, let's go back. Oh, oh, hey. Before Johnny fell unconscious, he told me you two would probably be coming soon. He said he probably wouldn't get the chance himself, but... He wanted me to tell you thanks for him. So, thank you. She's like, I can't deal with this mushy stuff. I gotta go. Alright, let's see if Neil is done with his phone call and we can find out what he's talking about. Hmm. What is it? It seems like our little Johnny here has some hidden records from the old days. Hidden records? Hidden medical records, to be exact. Oh, good on you, Neil. I knew you'd come through. Apparently, during his youth, he was administered a large dose of enhanced beta blockers. And what luck. They tend to have this little side effect on a curious thing called memories. Ooh. Beta blockers. Johnny didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Which leads one to wonder, the side effects were intended to merely just be that to begin with. Oh, snap, so he was given them to suppress something from his childhood. And in such a large amount. His impact on his memories at the time of the administration must have been significant. Okay, we gotta find out. That's gotta have something to do with all this. You think that's what kept us out of his earliest memories? Well, it's not the machine, I'll tell you that. The maintenance department yelled at me for scolding them. So what now? I was just given the reconfiguration frequencies. That should get us past the blockers. And once we're in his childhood, it might finally be early enough to transfer his desire for it to work. Then what, we, uh, then what are we waiting for? But just one thing. Of course, there's always that one thing. In order to activate the new frequencies, we'll need a trigger. A trigger? Something that exists strongly in the bridging, inaccessible memory. And we'll need to give it to John for him to stimulate his memory internally. But what do we know of that? We've only gotten a glimpse of his childhood memories. And even if we find a childhood photo or something, John's unconscious. Yeah, back to square one. You know, this job hasn't been such a pain in the arse for me since Nora's case last year. Likewise. Ooh, are, okay, we're gonna get, are we going to get some information about this case? Maybe that's what the sequel is about. Maybe that's about Nora's case. This is killing me. I'm going out to get some fresh air. Oh, oh, ahem. Forgot my coffee. Uh, 
All right, let's check that out. Beta blocker, a drug with the side effect of dampening memories by interfering with stress hormones. I don't know, is that like... That seems kind of unethical for a doctor to intentionally give a child beta blockers. Oh, it smells. Quit barging in and out of doors. The roadkill, Eva. It smells. I know. It's your fault for running over it. What's going on? The children are still sleeping. Wait a minute. That last memory, the one we were stuck at. It was the same smell. What are you two talking about? The, uh, the olfactory receptors are directly linked to the brain's limbic system, Lily. Don't you see what this means? I'm... what? He means that smell is arguably the most effective sense for memory recall. We can use it as the stimulant to bridge his childhood memories. Oh god, we're gonna bring the roadkill over for him to smell it? And the best part, even though Johnny's unconscious, he's still susceptible. I... I think I'm missing some vital contextual info on this whole thing. Alright, this is good. This is awesome. Now you just need to go fetch a piece of the roadkill. Yes, I'll just... Wait, why should I fetch it? You're the one who ran over. He's gonna be like, yeah, I did my job. Exactly. I've... <laughs> there we go. I've already done my part. Oh, you miserable bastard. <laughs> um, if it helps any, I... I have a pair of gloves you can borrow. They aren't really disposable gloves, but that'll probably change after this. I can't believe I'm doing this. Who knew that something right from the beginning was going to play a part in all this? Poor, poor Eva. The kind of things this job gets me into. It's not safe to just bring in a piece of germ-infected roadkill like this. There's a valve container in the car. It would at least make its odor controllable. Where are you going? I... I gotta go take a leak. Okay, what's he up to? Did, is there something in the car that he didn't want Eva to find? Like, what, what the heck? What a mess. The crash shook everything up. Let's see. Ah, here it is. Now to get some of that dirty roadkill. Ugh. Alright, let's head back to the house. I am very curious about what Neil's in such a rush to get to or to do. Oh, there he goes. Oh, hey. Did you get the roadkill? It's ready. Great. Go get it set up. I'll be right back. What are you up to, dude? Where are you going? I... I gotta... I gotta feed my digital pet. What? <laughs> yeah, dudette. I've been feeling retro. Anyway, hurry and go set things up. I'll be there in no time. What are you... We got someone dying back there. What the potato is he up to? I have no time to check on him now. So when we get to that exact point, I'll send the signal. 
When I do, I want you to release the valve for about three seconds. Certainly. About time you showed up. Have you made sure the germs are sealed off? Fully sealed and filtered. Not like it would matter to a dead man. Dying? Dying? Jeez, be sensitive. You should know Johnny's condition is deteriorating fast. This might be your last chance, you two. Whatever you do in there, good luck. Luck's the last thing we need. Act 3. They shine their lights at the other lighthouses, and at me. Oh, the ticking clock. Let's go. This music always makes me feel a little nervous. Alright. I think this little thing's causing us so much trouble. I just want to kick it to outer space. I suppose all we can do now is send the signal and hope. Well, ready? Something's happening. Quick, send it again! What's going on? Doctor, something's wrong. What? Take over for me, Lily. His condition has been destabilized. Intake levels must be re uh, reconfigured. What's happening to this place? It's been destabilized. Get out. What? Get out of this memory, now. What are you talking about? If the system doesn't restabilize soon, the shock might permanently damage whoever's in here. Aw, she does care about him. You've got to be kidding me. Why aren't you getting out, then? I can't, Neil. If both of us get out under the state, all our work will be reset. There won't be enough time to redo all we've done before, Johnny. Oh, you freaking... Don't pull that contrived crap on me. This ain't a movie and you're no hero, you're just being a moron. Then why are you being one too? Get the hell out of here. Screw that, if you're gone, they'll probably pair me up with Alistair. Do you know how badly he smells? Worse than the roadkill! Damn it, Neil. This is what I get for helping you cheat through the entrance exams. Doctor? I think we're okay, for now. Oh, here we go. And guess what? Your carrot cake sucks. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, and at the last Christmas party, you... Oh. Come on, let's go before that happens again. Uh, you know I didn't mean to, you know, call you a moron, right? You know that I did, right? <laughs> oh, uh, right, probably need the soccer ball. Here goes nothing. Wow, 
wow, I can't believe that worked. So we actually made it. But now I'm not sure if I'm going to like this place. What do you mean? It seems peaceful enough. Well, obviously, if it was something that they use beta blockers on to, uh, you know, block out these memories, it's not going to be anything good. Neil, did you notice something odd in Johnny's room earlier? Uh, what? Oh boy, I'm Neil in this case. I- what? I- I don't know. There was something strange in there. Did you not see it? I- I suppose not. Oh crap, now I wish I could go back and see. Never mind. I just hope I'm wrong. Well, we will find out soon enough. Uh, can I not interact with them? Okay. Wow, that sounds fabulous. I know, right? You've got to take them there one day. Okay, wait, what? Is something- okay, he's in two different places? Oh, oh, he's in three different places! Sheesh, the time overlap's getting out of hand. It looks like the ball's moving around on its own and he's just chasing it. Look at how many of him there are. It's like a zoo. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's the roadkill. All thanks to this little fella's sacrifice. I hope. Oh geez, look at the time. I'd better get going. The store closes early today. Oh, take care, Martha. Say hello to the boys for me. <gasps> Wait. I will. I'll see you around. Oh no. The boys? Oh no, did he have a brother? Well, this is the end of the road. Or maybe he's talking about the father. There's no mention of the father either, right? And you were saying... Never mind that. Maybe I was wrong after all. Oh, this music is picking up right now. I mean, this place. It's so peaceful. The only thing that exists in this memory that could do such a thing would be... Shit, duh. We need to go back, now. Wait, what's going on now? Just shut up and come. Oh, I don't like this music. Oh, there's the soccer ball. Oh, no. Oh, no. Shit. Oh, he did have a brother and she killed him. Oh, my. Okay. Well, shit. I guess. Oh, my God. I guess I'd understand why you'd want to block out that memory. And that's. And that's why there's been no mention. Like, if he had a brother, he never talked about him. I mean, I'm assuming that's not Johnny that died, or got hit. Obviously, it wasn't Johnny who died. I don't understand. If he was unconscious, how could we be seeing this when he never did? Still, I'm just surprised he survived. Oh, Neil. Oh, you. Oh, you beautiful, ignorance, little. Hmm. Actually, he didn't. What? Didn't you see it in his room, Neil? Johnny slept on a bunk bed. Oh my god, I totally missed that. Joey! And that's why his mom calls him Joey. Joey? Can you hear me? Joey? Why did you hit Joey, Ma? Why did you hit him? 
And that's why the mom's been like, you could tell there's something off with her. Joey, wake up, Joey. Wake up. Joey. Even though they were young, to lose a twin... Oh, it's his twin brother, too. Not to mention how his mother must feel. At least Johnny had the beta blockers erase the memories. Not like he remembers it much. Once again, that does not seem like an ethical thing for someone for to prescribe beta blockers to block out this memory. I don't know. And this thing is like... I, assuming the timeline, like, this happened in the 90s. I don't know. This doesn't, this seems like maybe something you do, like, in the past, back before, you know, we really understood a lot of stuff about the brain and whatever. I'm saying this in very layman's terms, but I don't know, like, the 90s, it doesn't seem like we, they would do stuff like that. That seems like stuff they would do in, like, the 50s or 60s when they didn't really know any better. Fuzzily unlinked, not erased. Somewhere in there, the aftermath of those memories probably lingered. What about their mother? I don't think she took the beta blockers. She seems to have gone a little cuckoo. At least, I don't really think she called Johnny Joey as a nickname. But if she takes Johnny for Joey, what about Johnny himself? I don't like it here. Let's move on. Yeah, I don't like this either. Uh, no, Joey. Seems like this wasn't the only memory unlinked. Odd. It's not putting up a barrier anymore. Don't jinx it. Dude, you should totally give this series a try. I mean, really, it's just wicked awesome. I've already plowed through three books straight. What's it called? Animorphs. Oh, It's like he took on the things that his brother loved. Subconsciously. It had to have been subconsciously because he doesn't remember his brother. It's about this group of kids turning into animals to fight mind-controlling slugs. Meh. I don't like that weird alien stuff. Why not? It's great. Instead of going to boring school, they get to turn into tigers and maul big bad aliens. They're all like, rah, 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 rah. And then they pick up lasers. And it's all pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. Stop that. Hee <laughs> hee. Just watch, Johnny. One day, I'm going to be a famous writer. I'll write the coolest novel on the block and every kid will get my book for free. I'll make us rich and buy both you and Ma really big houses. How would you get rich if you give away the books for free? Free for the kids. The parents will still have to pay, of course. Yeah, I'm sure the parents will be thrilled to give you money. What, you're still mad about the other day? Aw, oh, come on. I called first dibs on the train, fair and square. What happened to your prize anyway? I gave it away. To a hobo? Look, it's not just about that day. You know Ma always favored you. Hey, that's not true. Remember last Christmas? And last Easter? And the time we went fishing and... Okay, okay, you know what? You can have my train if you want. Yeah, that's gotta really mess up a kid. To, you know, lose their brother. And then the mom basically sees you as like... Almost like the replacement, like, I'm going to erase your sense of self, and you are going to take over as my favorite child. And he doesn't even remember his brother, so he he doesn't understand. Like he said, he thought that he was called Joey because it was after his, um, his grandfather. Really? Yep. I mean, hey, by your reasoning, she'll just get me another one, right? It's pretty messed up that even the kids recognize that there's a favorite and a not favorite. Listen, Johnny, what difference does it make who owns what? Everything that's mine is yours, too. I mean, we both get to play with it, right? Yeah. 
Right. I mean, come on, you're my twin brother, dude. You're like a part of me. Oi, let's go confuse the neighbors. Wait, in the rain? Yes, in the rain, come on. All right, let's check out those notes. So there was... Do, 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 Animorphs, Joey's favorite childhood books. Joey, Johnny's twin brother to see since childhood. Whew, all right, guys, that was a little bit of a rough ending there. So I think I'll end it here. Of course, as you know, I'm loving the story so far. Still haven't cried yet, surprisingly enough. That was that was rough watching, you know, the his, him lose his brother, but... I'm guessing if I am going to cry about something, it's going to have to do with River, because, I don't know, I just really, I just, their relationship is just very sweet, and I'm expecting probably to get a cry in the end. Uh, so, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and please stay tuned for the next one. Until next time, bye guys.